Hi everyone. Hey, today we're making a cauliflower chicken bake for the holidays. You know, we're all crazy with our schedules and parties and things to go to, and we need to keep eating healthy. So what I'm making is a, like I said, a cauliflower bake uh, with chicken in it. And we're using chicken thighs. We're using fresh cauliflower. And I've got a nice sauce that is just really delicious. You're gonna love this and it's super easy to make. You can put it together and you're good to go. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. Okay, your kid's gonna love this. How do you fix a broken tomato? With tomato paste. To start off our recipe, we're gonna prep up and dice up some yellow onion. A quick way to dice this up is to do some horizontal cuts followed by some vertical cuts and then when you go to slice it they come out nice and small and you have very little chopping to do. Next we're going to prep up our cauliflower head. Take your knife and cut around the top here of the cauliflower and then we're going to just release a lot of those leaves and we'll take that center piece out. And then run the cauliflower head under some cold water to give it a good rinse. So at this point, now we're going to just cut this head into uh, bite-sized pieces, basically. So we'll cut the florets off first, all the way around, and then we'll get into cutting them sm into smaller bites. So cut these to a medium size, all right? And then after this, we got to make sure that these are as dry as we can possibly get them. To get these as dry as possible, I just poured them onto a clean towel, and then I'm just kind of blotting them with a paper towel. We are ready to start cooking. All right, I'm over here. I have a large cast iron pan over medium high heat. This cast iron pan is going to help us get some really great flavor into this dish. So we're going to start with some olive oil and once that warms up we're going to add our onions to this. I'm going to saute these for about 10 minutes stirring them frequently. Once the onions start turning a golden brown and it's been about 10 minutes, then we're going to transfer them to our baking dish, which is about a 10 by 10. Now I'm going to add some more olive oil to the pan and I'm going to make sure the temperature is up to a medium high heat. We're not trying to cook the cauliflower here. We're trying to sear it, get a nice crusty, you know, brown on it to give it some flavor. Once that oil is hot, we're going to toss in our cauliflower. Now if it spits up at you, go ahead and put a grease splatter guard on top if, if you have one. Those things come in really handy. Now you see I pulled out some of the florets because I realized at the time that I put too much in. You want to have just a single layer if you can so that cauliflower that's touching the bottom of the pan will get that nice, that crusty golden brown. So don't stir this for a good four or five minutes. So this is what the cauliflower should look like. You see those golden brown parts? That, that's where the flavor is. Once we do our second batch of cauliflower, now we're ready to put everything together. Okay, let's whip up our sauce. So in this container here, I have some milk, and to that I am adding some coconut aminos. This is a soy uh, substitute. Next goes some maple syrup. And if you want to get the written recipe, look in the description below the video. Now to season things up, I'm using some basil, dried basil here. So we're going to add a little bit of that, as well as some cornstarch. Now this is going to thicken up the sauce a little bit. And make sure you give this a good stir so there's no lumps. And the last thing I'm going to add here is some garlic powder. Now I'm going to pour that sauce right over the top of that cauliflower and onion mixture. For our chicken, I'm using boneless, skinless chicken thighs. You could use chicken breast if you want, but uh, I always like to use thighs because they're so juicy and tender. All right, we're going to take those out. I like to trim up the fat on these and then cut them into chunks. And the reason I like to cut up the chicken like this is just it helps it to cook up quicker. Then I just toss the chicken right on top of the casserole and mix it in. And let's not forget a little sprinkle of salt. Take a couple of spoons like I've got here and just push the chicken down into the sauce. Now we're going to put a little topping on this. So I'm going to use Aaliyah's, they're gluten-free Italian breadcrumbs, which means they have a little bit of seasoning in them, which really adds some more flavor. So we just sprinkle some of that right on top. 
And then we finish it off with some shredded mozzarella cheese, but you can use any kind you want. I actually added a combination of the mozzarella and a little bit of Swiss. Now the Swiss is nice because it has a little bit of a, maybe a sour flavor to it to kind of complement the sweetness from the honey. It's really nice. And like I said, feel free to use any kind of cheese you like or that you happen to have on hand. And then I went ahead and put a few more of the, of the breadcrumbs just to kind of layer it a bit. Make sure to preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to pop this in the oven uncovered for about 45 minutes. You want to check it at about maybe 35. All right, it must be time for chef joke number two. What did the mama burger name her daughter? Patty. <laughs> so here's our casserole right before I took it out of the oven. You're going to want to let this sit for five to 10 minutes before you actually cut into it and serve it. And it would be great over some rice or mashed potatoes or even cauliflower rice. You are going to love the flavors in this. It's got some little bit of sweetness to it and it's just, oh, it's so comforting, delicious. If you want to try another comforting dish, you got to try my autumn minestrone soup. This is so delicious. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the recipe. Hey, thanks for watching today. If you enjoyed today's video, let me know by smashing the like button and leave me a comment. We'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.